Okay, so we technically defeated Diamond Weapon. I know he didn't exactly disappear, but and we even got an achievement for defeating him. Amazing. Um, but yeah, since he didn't disappear like most bosses do, there might be a reason for the why we didn't actually beat him. And holy fuck, you get 3,500 AP for that? I should have put double, triple AP on. Fuck, that was dumb. I didn't know you get that much AP. Whatever, hella shit went up a level, that's cool. We didn't master a damn thing. Um, the other thing I want to note is, I don't know what happened at the end of last episode. It just crashed on me? I don't know what the fuck happened, so I just figured, what the hell. I'll pick it up right where I beat Diamond Weapon. I was literally about to beat him right there. He's one turn away from dying, and then it froze. I don't know what the fuck happened. I think my computer just, like, cut off, or what do you call it? Timed out or whatever, and it made the game crash. Something like that. Anywho fix that issue hopefully doesn't happen again and now we get to watch diamond weapon be all pissed off that we kicked his ass because we didn't actually kill him we just defeated him in a battle meaning all we did was stall him while he was on his rampage towards midgar something's wrong no it's feeling something yeah it senses murder what do you mean it senses murder to my ship uh sure uh, as long as we're not going toward that thing, I'm okay with it. <whistles> Who's calling me? Oh no, let's hurry out of here. Something's big. I'm really talking, I'm talking really big is coming. Oh yeah? That can't be good. <laughs> Mr. President, preparations for Sissy Ray are now underway. That rhymed. <laughs> Anytime is fine. Fire. Oh shit. Could we be witnessing our second weapon about to get its face shot off by a cannon? They're not actually aiming for the weapon. They're aiming for the north crater that has a barrier around it now. I don't know if I showed you guys that crater that had the barrier around it. If I didn't, I should have. But anyway, the point of this cannon being over here is so they could aim it and fire it at that barrier because they want to take it down be able to get to Sephiroth, but will it work? The power of eight Mako cannons be damned! Actually, it's only seven because we blew one up, if you recall. The power of seven Mako cannons be damned! Eagle reactors be damned! Let's do it! Do do. Do do. Do do. Watch this cannon. This is one of the cooler just FMVs in the game. It's no wonder this game is three discs and has such a short story on the second disc. Because FMVs like this took up so much goddamn space. Oh, snap! Fire! Say hello to my little friend. Damn, so much damage that did to Midgard just by fucking firing. It didn't even get fired at. Eh, re refuse over there, click it, flipping his hair like a little beaver. Oh shit, is Diamond Weapon gonna absorb it? Oh, maybe he's gonna shoot back? Oh, he's firing back. Fire! Holy fuck, that's a lot of bullets, bro. Um, I don't know if he's firing at the cannon or attack, or if he's firing just at Midgar. Which direction is it going to attack? Midgar. Marlene! Uh-oh. Bullets flying right at the cannon. It looks like they're just going all around it. Oh boy, we're gonna have residual damage on both ends, aren't we? I like how the high wind's just kind of floating around the weapon. What are we gonna do? Just watch it happen pretty much. Here it comes. Bam, sucker! Yeah! Diamond weapon, punk. And yes, that will officially be the end of diamond weapon right there. A sister ray through the heart, done. Done zomatic. Two cannon shots, two weapons down. But the shot is not done yet. Damn! It went right through weapon. I see, they're after Sephiroth, the crater on the northern boundary. Yeah, see, they weren't actually firing at weapon. They were firing at the crater. Here it comes. Boom! Is it gonna work? It's not working. <gasps> it worked. It actually worked, guys. Sir, weapon's been defeated. The barrier has disappeared. Awesome. Victorious, bitch. <clears throat> Sir, a mass of high density energy is Heading towards Midgar. 
Whoa, weapons attacking, run for your lives! I told you residual damage was gonna happen from weapons attack. Here it comes. Here it comes! Uh oh, refuse. Oh, damn. Say goodnight to refuse. Well, another Shinra pe president bites the dust, maybe? That's what it looks like. What happened to Sephiroth? Northern Cave. Let's go see what happened to it. Uh, okay. Let's go. Let's go check it out, brah. Northern Cave, here we come. Yay, there's no more barrier over here. It's right. He no, right, right. Where's that? Where's that? No, I know I'm near it. Where the fuck is it? Wait, where the, where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. Here it is. Northern Crater. Boom. No barrier anymore. Super sweet. Sephiroth's energy barrier is gone. Sid, can the airship get inside? Ah, he's my pilot, Annie. Of course he can go anywhere. Right. Sorry about that. Yo, K. Sid. Now what the fuck you doing? Hold it. Hold it what, bitch? Scarlet, Heidegger, what's going on? We're not done with the Shinras, I guess. Strange, I can't reach the president. Not the president, to Sister Ray. <laughs> what is it, Reeve? You're speaking strangely. None of that matters. The reactor's output is increasing all by itself. Wait a minute, that's not wise. It must cool for three hours or it won't work, Reeve. Shut off the machine. We can't do that. It's improper. No, it's improperable. Inoperable. Someone has switched the machine over to mainframe operation. We can't operate from here. What about the mainframe? Who? Uh-oh. Hey, call the mainframe. Who took over the cannon? Huh? Why are you giving me orders? I don't care how you do it. Fat ass little man, don't try to fucking be an a hole about it. Oh, motherfucker, of course. Look who's fucking shit up. It's Hojo. <laughs> Just you wait, Sephiroth. I'll give you all the Mako you want. Hojo, stop! The cannon, no! Midgar itself is in danger. <laughs> One or two Midgars, it's a small price to pay. Hojo's gone mad, man. He's a madman. Show me, Sephiroth. It should be near. <laughs> Go beyond the powers of science. Before your presence, science is powerless. I don't like it, but I'll comply. Just let me see it. <laughs> Crazy motherfuckers, man. Crazy motherfuckers. Yo, do something, you big ass fat cat. Doesn't look like he can do it. <laughs> I like his penguin waddle. We're sunk. Hojo's doing this on his own. Huh? I don't like this. You busted, Reeve. Too late trying to hide it now. Can't you stop the Mako reactor? We can't stop it. You're from Shinra, ain't you? So why is it impossible, eh? We came a long way to get here. You better not double cross us now, you son of a bitch. I can't make you trust me. You damn fool. Don't you understand anything I'm saying right now? Don't you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I don't give a damn about no Shinras. If you're a man, no, if you're a human being, you won't save this planet. Did you even care, motherfucker? No way, if we shut down the reactor, all hell will break loose. Why? Can't you just shut off the valve? Isn't it just a switch? Flick the shit switch, you know? Yeah, it's easy to shut off the reactor's pipe valves, but the reactor made a path for the energy to escape from below. Once you open that, it'll be impossible to close it until everything blasts out. And we can't try to stop the energy from gushing out. An explosion! That blast will be way stronger than when the Root Sector 1 reactor blew up. Damn! Forget that! The cannon! We've got to get to Midgar! That's the first thing! Must stop Hojo first. All right, mission is clear. Looks like Cloud and the others are on their way. Stay out of the way. <laughs> don't be foolish. I don't remember anyone putting you in charge. The Peace Preservation Force will do their best to beat the enemy. Because of them, I... 
that's a private matter. The president is dead. Now I'm doing things my way. <laughs> oh god. Hi, Dagger. Now I'm going to use the new weapon. Whatever. Reeves like fuck it. Hey, wait. Cloud, everybody, sorry, but <coughs> so if you didn't know, well, let me finish first. But but you'll come, won't you? Oh, we'll be there. Don't you worry, bruh. I know. Hey, I'm leaving the ship in your hands. I'm heading for Midgar. Midgar, here we come, baby. All right, so we have to go to Midgar. We just got to fly over it. And uh, I think we're just going to go right for it, I think. Um, I don't know. Should I pick a party and set them up first? I do want to switch out my party a little bit. Just a little bit. I just want to put in uh, Barrett, actually. I'm going to use Red 13 because I still want to steal st st still want to steal stuff. Um, actually, before I do that, let me make sure... Yeah, I don't want him to be wearing the ribbon because I want the ribbon. But other than that, it's fine. Barrett, then you come. I know he had a few materials as well. On, uh... I had a few on Sid, so let's go ahead and get those off. So anyways, uh... Kind of a twist there, if you couldn't already tell. Or you didn't already know. Is that Reeve was actually the... The... The Shinra employee that was behind controlling Kate's hit the whole time. So for those of you who didn't know... Or, you know, wasn't given away by the story in some way. Now you know. <coughs> I guess we're going to stick with the AM cannon for now. I haven't exactly gotten a new thing to use. Um, I really want to use these tough rings, but for now the ribbon is going to be pretty much my savior. And uh, everything else I'm going to keep the same for the moment. Just got to put some materials on, on uh, Barrett real quick. Let's see. What did I have on... Uh, I had Hades and I had Bahamut. I'm trying to think what I had on Sid a minute ago before I switched it up. I definitely had an enemy skill. Uh, I don't think I had any other magic. I had another yellow one on though, didn't I? Oh, I had I had Sense on. I'm pretty close to mastering it. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think. Do I want to put Counterattack and Cover on? Because Counterattack and Cover, while it's an awesome combo, when I'm in this next place I want to be able to steal first ask questions later um sorry I want to put enemy skill back on actually I know what I'm going to do I'm going to put steal on I'm going to let Barrett be my other thief for the moment because we are going to need the ability to steal again when we're in Midgar by the way this will be our last romp in Midgar like actual Midgar areas that we went to early on in the game and we weren't able to go back to till now we'll still be able to go back to Wall Market and all that in Sector 5 which we don't need to do anymore but if you want to you can but this will be our last uh, excursion into like the Shinra building and stuff like that. So anything you remember earlier in the game that I said we'll go back to the Shinra building, now's the time. This is when we're going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and use a tent to heal up from that diamond weapon battle. And I think we're just going to go straight forward because I know this episode didn't quite kick off how I wanted. I, wanted, I actually wanted this episode uh, to start right here, but because we had to finish the weapon battle... I guess it's not so bad, because after the weapon battle, that was like five or six minutes of cutscenes and talking. Anywho, uh, Midgar, here we come. The boss battle isn't immediately, so I'm not worried about that. Anyway, we reach Midgar. Even if we get there, Midgar's under martial law, motherfuckers. There'll be no way we can slip into the slums. Looks like all the transportation from the slums is cut off. Hey, 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 what do you think we have the high wind for, dumbasses? Where are we now? Huh? Where are we? If land's a no-go, we'll go by air. Aw, yeah. Okay, then. We'll parachute in. Aw, oh, that's epic as shit. Parachute in? That's so epic. I fucking love the idea. How Red 13's gonna parachute, I'll never know. But you won't see me complaining. Fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. Everybody, time to go. Let's go parachuting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys, you ready? Uh, do we want to change the party members? No, I just did that. I could have done it right now, I guess, but I don't want to. Here we go. We'll have opportunity to change our party members again. There will be save points and stuff. So don't worry about it being your only party you can use. But I choose Barrett for a very specific reason. Plus, I love Barrett, so I, don't, I, have, no, I have no complaints of using him. 
Anyway, this is a cool part. So we're literally just skydiving into the damn city, which I find to be quite amazing. Oh shit. We can do like little tricks and shit? Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even know we could do that. That's fucking cool. Awesome. I didn't know we could do twirls and it's the first time in my entire life I've pressed buttons during that cutscene. I didn't even know we could do twirls and shit. That is fucking cool. Holy shit, that's awesome. Anywho, we parachuted in. Cool. Heidegger is going after you all. That's why it's dangerous out there. Let's go underground. Okay, let's go. Ball locate Sith wherever he's going. <sighs> this place smells gross. Let's get this over with. So it was Hojo who stirred up all this commotion after all these years. It's always Hojo. Yeah, let's get this over with. We sure got to know. We sure got to know the Midgar Underground. Yeah, we used to live down there. Kate Sith quit dancing around and shit. This is where we go in. In we go then. Please hurry to the Mako Cannon. Certainly, let's run, shall we? I'm not really in the biggest of hurries, even though the music would have you think you should be. There's no timer on this shit right now. We just gotta move. Now, this is basically a new part of Midgar we haven't been to before. Uh, I think the only thing we can do right here on this screen is... Hold on. Hold on. Can we go down this ramp over here? Oh yeah, we can. Okay. I was like, can we go over here? Because I really want to get the items here. And you can. You just have to go this way. So... I think we're going the right way. If we're not, so be it, but yeah. Here's our- oh, I wasn't looking. That was not Cloud's fucking finishing touch. I was holding down the attack button. I forgot Cloud had his limit break set ready to go. Well, next time we get it, we'll get some finishing touch in. Trust me, we're gonna get to see finishing touch. Plenty. Plenty. <sighs> so we're kicking it off with a couple enemies that are just palette swaps of enemies we fought before. They're definitely harder than they were before, but I fucked them up with my limit break so hard they didn't even get a chance. Um, I feel like this is not the right... Well, whatever. There's stuff over here. I'm not really wasting my time or anything. There's definitely stuff over here. There's an elixir. Okay, actually, that is what I wanted. Elixir is the first item on my list, so that means we're going the right way. Um, yeah, we run this way and we get a mega elixir, right? Okay, so we are on the right track. Now, gotta hit up a ladder. So can we get on this ladder from here? No, okay. So there's a ladder we, need to, we gotta get to. Hmm. Anyway, oh, this is a fun group of enemies, isn't it? Can you tell that there's three of them? Three manhole covers, three enemies. Oh, okay, well, I think, I think, I guess, only the ones that pop up you have to fight. If you kill them before the other ones pop up, you only have to fight one, I guess? I didn't remember that. And I think actually, we actually have to go down now. I think that's all we can do. Now that we grab those two items, you go back. I'm pretty sure what happens is when I usually do this part is I don't grab those elixirs that I just got. And I always think I miss items. So technically I rarely ever get these two elixirs that I just grabbed. But this time around I, I got them, so here we are. Elixirs, amazing, right? Now one thing I should probably do is put Baird in the back row. I don't think I did that yet. But because he has a long range weapon equipped, we should probably be in the back row. It's fun to actually be doing it. Oh no, he is the back row, dummy. Um, it's, it's fun to actually be doing a dungeon again because it's been a few episodes, right? I know we did the one in, on the underground or the underwater plane, but that shit was like way too hard to be a real dungeon. I couldn't just fight the enemies like normal. I mostly just ran away. I don't know, I just kind of miss going through these dungeons where I fight random battles and grab items. Just haven't got to do one in a little bit. Most of the last few things I've had to do are just quick little run-throughs of areas where action was going on. I mean, we got to fight a few battles, and it usually just culminated in a boss fight. But now that we're here, this whole sequence of events in Midgar is fucking awesome. I just love this whole idea of going back to where this game started. It's fucking cool. I always love this shit. Anyway, I believe we have to go down this ladder now. Because I don't think we have any other options. Yeah, okay. I, it's all kind of coming back to me as I do this. We gotta go down this ladder. And then I think we gotta go back up this ladder over here. I don't know, there's so many different ways you can go right here at the beginning that you could easily 
not get the treasures because of it. Yeah. This hit, this is this ladder, and this will get us that treasure chest at the top. Okay, so yeah. Those two treasure chests with the elixirs are two that I usually miss. And even this one up here is one that I occasionally forget to come up here and get. So that's three treasures that I don't usually get when I play this part of the game. Because I forget. And yes, these are only one-time one time only treasures. You will never come back to this area again. Grab them while you see them. Aegis armlet. Pretty good armlet. It's not like the Aurora armlet, it's different. I don't remember exactly how it's different, but it is different. We got a whole lot of different uh, armor equipments now that are all pretty, really, really pretty good. And the one I like using a lot is the Zedrich that I stole from Rude, and I, which I have two of those now. I really like using them because what it does is it halves all elemental damage, plus it has super high defense. But the problem with it is, is if you want to use it, you're not going to be working on any materia. It has zero materia slots. So right now I actually have it on Barret. So he has an entire armor slots full of nothing right now. In fact, I'm thinking I might just take the Zedrich off of him. I'd rather be leveling up some AP while I'm here on just about anything I possibly can. Nah, you know, I don't even care. I'd rather just have the defense for now. I'm going to do plenty of grinding later to master all the materias. Because there's plenty of materias I don't even have yet. So, like, even if I'm not working on all the materials that I can right now, possibly, like, I could just be filling up all my materials so I have every single fucking slot full. Eight slots weapon, eight slots, uh, well, not eight slots weapon, but you get the idea. Uh, do I have to go this way? Okay, yeah, cool. Oh, no! I don't know if I wanted to do that. Uh, okay, maybe, okay, I did want to do that, okay, whew. I got a little worried there for a second. I'd be like, wait, was I supposed to do that? I was supposed to do that. That was just so I could get down here. Now wait, this is right. We'll fall. Yeah, okay. West ladder. My my notes would make sense. I, I wrote pretty in-depth notes for this place because, especially this part of it, can be kind of confusing to get all the treasures. The rest of it, after you're done with this little sequence with all the ladders, pretty straightforward. Well, I should say that very tentatively straightforward my ass in the next part but we'll get to that when we get to that probably not going to get to that in this particular episode anyway so here we are right where I was when I fell down these are the two treasures an oh boy uh, behemoth this motherfucker can be pretty difficult but those of you who have played Final Fantasy games in the past know that these fuckers can be quite the bitch to fight this game no exception I'm pretty sure when you kill these guys they like to cast some kind of spell Free Phoenix down though. Awesome. Whoa, these guys do question mark? Really? That's the enemy skill that I had trouble learning early on in the game. Wait, what? I didn't know these guys did that move. You see that question mark move he just did to me? That's one of the enemy skills I haven't learned yet because the stupid guys in Shinra Mansion never showed up. Holy shit. Well, now you guys know what move I was trying to learn. It's called question mark, question mark, question mark. And there's an enemy in the Shinra Mansion that does it, but I could never get that shit to pop up. By the way, Starlight Phone, this is actually, well, it's not Kate Sith's uh, ultimate weapon, but it's just as good as his ultimate weapon. In my opinion, it's better than his ultimate weapon, and it has eight slots, too. So if you want to use a good weapon for Kate Sith and you like using Kate Sith, use the Starlight Phone. It's pretty damn good. Now, after I grab both those chests, I think I want to go down this ladder over here, actually, first. We can go up that ladder up the stairs, which is actually where we need to go. But I think there's still one more treasure we can get to before we head on with our lives. And I don't, I'm not entirely sure where I am on time on this episode because of I started recording right when I started fighting Diamond Weapon, and I know I didn't wasn't going to show you the entire fight. So I'm trying to remember when exactly I beat him. I should have been paying attention to the timer. Anyway, we want to go down here to this vent, I believe, if we can. If we can, there we go. And back into the ventilation system we go, where we will stop. Only nobody, somebody might know. Oh, look, somewhere familiar. Okay, here we go. Now we can get the last of the treasures up here, which is up top. Wow. these All these treasures are so missable, man. I can't believe how, how many of them I... I know I've never got all... Like, I don't know if I never got all of them, but there's a lot of them that I just never got. Anyway, that's the Max Ray, which is a fantastic weapon for Barrett going to equip immediately because it's stronger than what I'm using. And it's got the same amount of materia slots, so worth it. Worth it. Won't have to switch nothing. Just going to have stronger attack. Alright, so that's cool. I believe that was actually the last of the treasures. 
So now we just need to go back out and around and get up to where that save point is. And then we'll be done. Well, done in this area. Like I said, we still have a we still have a ways to go. One cool thing about the uh, the um, the quest we're on here. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. The mission we're on here is that we're about to go through a sort of gauntlet of bosses, sort of. Kind of like having like a nice little finale encounter with just about every one of Shinra's bitches that we haven't dealt with yet, kind of. And so, I mean, that's part of the greatness of this whole sequence, which I really love. I mean, boss fights are really what make Final Fantasy. I mean, if you, if you aren't playing this game and enjoying the boss fights, then you probably aren't playing the game right, or you just, for some reason, all you like is the story. I don't know. The boss fights are always like the big moments in these games. And in this sequence of events here in Midgar, no different. Lots of finality going on here, and I really love it. So, this motherfucker can do the question mark move. I almost feel like learning it from him. And you know what I might do? Because actually, I was thinking about ending the episode here pretty soon, because there is a safe point right at the top of the stairs here. And the next, uh, when we go in the next door, we're gonna be running right into the next, or the first boss fight, I should say. So, I wanna be prepared for the first boss fight. Because I don't know how long it will take, and uh, should be fun. So yeah, let me go ahead and kill this guy real quick, and then we'll get to the top of this to the save point. And actually, I think that's this is where we'll end the episode. What I will do, I think what I what I will do is I'm gonna go ahead and set up my manipulate thing, try to manipulate a behemoth into using the question mark move on me, and learn it on all of my uh, enemy skills. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one where we will go in that door and start our boss gauntlet of fun. We're probably going to do all the rest of the Midgar events in this next, ep uh, next episode, I think. I don't know, some of it might take longer than I think, but in my mind I'm thinking we could probably do all of it if, we've, if we move fast. There might be, actually, there might be a little bit of fast forwarding or skipping, but I'll explain that when we get there. See you guys in the next one. Peace.